Water magic here you will enter a land of great beauty. A land of harmony and peace. In the last topic, you had just left your dying body, the silver cord had separated, and you were set off adrift. At this point, it is essential that you believe that there is continuity in life after physical death, otherwise you will simply drift in a dense, dark fog, until slowly you realize that you are still conscious and alive. As soon as doubt is gone, the clouds will dissipate and your loved ones will be there to help you. In the first stage of transition, you will be allowed time to recuperate. The process of living on earth and the troubles of the long years spent there have made you very weary. In the new realm that you have just entered, you are given time to rest from your journey on earth and to adjust to the astral realm. Everyone, no matter what their magical attainment, must enter this level of the astral realm. It has been referred to, by some religions, as purgatory. You are here in order to arrest, purify yourself of human dross and make decisions about your magical future. Your magical development determines the level of purgatory you first arrive at. For souls who are of the lowest and crudest of development, there is a very low vibrational level for them. At this level, acts of the worst kind, akin to their own vibrations, are portrayed before them. The things that they did wrong on earth are done to them. This is a very dense region. This is not a land of punishment and torture, but a place to show the individual the folly of such a life and a place to rid the soul of its denser energies. This is not hell. There is no such place as hell. If hell is anywhere it is right here on earth. It is what humankind has made of the earth. Above this there is the next level which some go immediately to and some come up to from a lower level. This level is for souls who allowed their lower passions to rule them. For those who sought after money and power without maintaining the eternal night balance. This region is very much akin to the physical plane just left behind. The astral surroundings will be very similar to those of the earth. Here the souls will remain, till they rid themselves of the coarser astral material, so that they may go ever higher. They rid themselves of this dense astral material by learning control of their passions. They must make up the eternal balance. From here we go to the level you probably rose to from the beginning. You rise to the level where generally all begin who are of a basically good nature. This land is filled with beautiful parks and lakes. There are very beautiful buildings all around you. There are colors never before seen by you. The air is alive with energy and life. Animal life is abundant and tame. There is beautiful music everywhere in the air. Here in this realm no disharmony can occur. No one can meet anyone who would cause them unhappiness of any kind. When you first arrive, your loved ones or magical helpers will be there to assist you. In this realm, all that you want is produced by your thoughts. Travel is by thought. If you want to wear clothes then you must think of yourself dressed as you want to be dressed. Your nourishment is all around you. All you have to do is breathe. Your physical habits that you learned on earth will still be with you. You may feel that you still have to eat. This is fine. You need only think of the food you want to eat plus the table and so forth necessary to eat it with. But the sooner you learn to forget the old physical habits, and learn and experience your new astral body, the sooner you will be able to progress. This is a very real world. This world is, 
as solid and real to its inhabitants, as your own earth is to you. But there are some who see this realm slightly different. For some souls who believe in an exact type of heaven according to their religious beliefs, or even of the opposite region, and feel that this is where they are going, then this is what they will see. If they believe that they will see the pearly gates and same feet at them, then this is what they will see. Gradually, though, imperfections will show up here and there. The gates may squeak or even fall off the hinges, as they start to open. The angels, flying about, may suddenly be wearing flannel shirts and play off key on their rusty harps. When the person has enough doubts about their make-believe heaven, then like a dream, it will disappear and the real astral realm will appear and so their beloved ones too. It is best to keep an open mind when you make the transition. This will quicken your entry into your new realm and life. After you have become adjusted to this new realm, you will be escorted to a building where you will review your recent life and past lives you have lived. All that you have ever done will be shown to you on what has been called in some religions the Akashic Record and by others, the Book of Records. Let's look at this record and see what it is. The Night Record, as you will come to know it, is a special energy upon which everything that has ever occurred to anyone and anything is recorded. There is further shown, on the Night Record, the probabilities for the future. This record not only can show what has occurred on the Earth, but for any place located anywhere. This record can be seen by those who have made the earth transition in order to look at their life just lived, and by those of high magical development who have a need to see. The record is not for the use of just anyone. So, you were just entering the night record hall and preparing to review your life. You see the things you did and the things you shouldn't have done. You see the things you were supposed to have done and learned. No one judges you but yourself and your oversoul. You are your own sternest judge. It is through your oversoul that you see where you have gone wrong and what your oversoul wanted you to accomplish in your life. You are then led out of the hall by your guide and taken to a council of advisors. These advisors are trained to aid you in reviewing your lives and determining the best means for accomplishing the previous desired results wanted by your oversoul and thus planning your future. You are placed in the proper circumstances, at the proper time, to achieve the desired results. After this planning, you will retire to the astral realm of your vibration and rest and prepare yourself for the L.